started. I grew up in downtown Cincinnati, Ohio. I like a lot of downtowns. It's been highly gentrified, you know? Here's a weird thing, though, that I've noticed about gentrification. People are quick to tell you what a building was 150 years ago. You're not so quick to tell you what it was 20 years ago. You know? Like, you got people out there like, oh, 150 years ago? This building was a wagon-making factory. Yeah, over here's where they formed the wood. Over here's where they assembled the wagons. Not a lot of people out there going, yo, 20 years ago, this was a crack house. <laughs> yeah, over here's where they put the rock. Over here's where they back it up. <laughs> Next door, they were selling their dead bodies like on the wire. It was nuts. <laughs> yeah. Hey, you go down south, they don't want to talk about the past at all. They're like, yo, can we just talk about what the building is now? <laughs> A place where you cannot vote. Uh, <laughs> Alright, that's my test joke, but what's some kind of crowd I was working with here? Some of y'all gonna have some fun. Some of y'all. <laughs> I'm vaccinated and I've also had booster shots as well. You know, I have. I, have. I did it because I wanted to be a responsible citizen, you know? And also because my wife told me if I bring on COVID again, I'm going to have to learn to suck my own dick. And I don't see myself making it. I don't. <laughs> Whenever you test positive for COVID, you have to tell everybody you've been around so they can get tested too, you know? And COVID has made me realize that as far as medical testing is concerned, I long for the days where we only had to inform strangers about an STD. <laughs> Look, I'm just saying, I feel more comfortable calling a stranger and going, yo, I know we had fun a couple of nights ago, but you're probably going to have to get a penicillin shot. <laughs> then I would feel to call a friend and go, yo, I know we had fun a couple of nights ago, but you're probably going to have to bury your Aunt Ruth. <laughs> yo, I thought it was just the sniffles, dog, my bad, I'm sorry. <laughs> By this point, you've all seen it at this point. I'm gonna go ahead and address it, the bandage on my arm. I was actually a victim of gun violence. I was. I was some friends of mine, we were all out at a bar, and I saw a couple of guys having an altercation off to the side. They kind of broke up and thought it was over with. My friends and I said our goodbyes. I got about mm, 15, 20 yards away from the bar that I was in front of. All of a sudden, I hear from behind me, yo, he's got a gun! And I just heard a bunch of shots going off. And so I took off running. And in about 10 yards, my body showed me that my old fat ass wasn't supposed to be running like that. I caught a cramp in the back of my leg. I hit the ground, skinned up, my elbow smashed my phone. I'm just saying, we gotta get this gun violence under control. I'm gonna be 50 years old running this shit. You always hear about victims of gun violence, you hear about the person that was shot and their family. You never think about the old middle-aged fat motherfucker that had to take off running. I am a victim. Here's the messed up part about it. The motherfucker who shot, he shot 32 rounds. 32 rounds. I'm like, dude, what the fuck were you fighting? Zombies or some shit? <laughs> the fuck do you need 32 rounds for, motherfucker? <laughs> were you fighting Jason Voorhees? He's just, ah, oh, gotta get in. <laughs> <laughs> and then here's the thing, he fired 32 rounds, he only hit the guy he was aiming at eight times. <laughs> eight fucking times. Dude, if you don't shoot 32 rounds and only hit him eight times, if I'm fighting zombies, I don't want you on my team. <laughs> You know I shoot motherfucking nose. <laughs> Y'all have been fun. I'm gonna do one more thing and get up out of here. Uh, like I said, I'm, I'm 49 years old, damn near 50. And in my age, I've had to come to terms with some things about myself, things I'm having to realize, you know? Like I'm heavily into gangster rap music, but I realize that I will never be gangster. <laughs> well, they're not built, so like physically, I'm not physically built. To, like I don't have a gangster's butthole. <laughs> like I had to throw away two pair of underwear at work because I shit my pants. You can't be gangster. But that kind of track 
Right. <laughs> Overcome. Do you understand how embarrassing that is? Like, I gave you in the middle of a crazy situation, just like you put your shit down, motherfucker, you feel me? <laughs> Fuck! <laughs> hey, uh, can we finish this later? I gotta go take care of something. <laughs> like, I can't sneak anything in the prison. <laughs> Think about it, one of the first things they tell you to do when you get to jail is turn around, spread your cheeks, bend over, and cough. I do that, I'm adding on years for assaulting an officer. <laughs> I'm still a point, I love y'all. Bye. <laughs>